Okay, Lamborghini Mercy, yo chick she so thirsty A very happy birthday to the beautiful Nollywood superstar Bimbo Ademoye. Hello wonderful people, welcome again to my YouTube channel. To my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. And to all my beautiful returning subscribers, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my new videos. Happy, happy birthday to the beautiful, talented, amazing Nollywood superstar Bimbo Ademoye. Bimbo Ademoye was born on the 4th of February 1991, so she's 31 years old at the time of making this video. She's a beautiful, talented Nollywood superstar. People always say that she's the daughter of the veteran actress Shola Obowale because the resemblance is just too much and they are both starred in a lot of movies together. Guys, just take a look at this resemblance. Even Bimbo herself refers to her as a mommy. She says she can't wait for both of them to feature in a movie together as mother and daughter because of their resemblance. So a lot of people actually think that she's the biological mother of Bimbo but they are just mother and daughter not blood related so let me quickly give you all a quick biography about bimbo in case you don't really know much about her bimbo was born on the 4th of february 1991 in lagos she was raised by a single father her parents separated when she was just two years old she attended saint margaret primary school Ikurudu, Lagos. She had a secondary education at Mayflower Secondary School, Ekene, Ogun State. She attended Covenant University for a tertiary education where she studied business administration. She made her acting debut in 2014 in a short film titled Where Talent Lies. In 2015, she was cast in her first featured film, It's About Your Husband, produced by Uduak Isang, but it was the movie Backup Wife that shot her into limelight. She refers to Uduak Isang as one of her biggest motivation and everything to her because she was the one that actually pushed her to limelight and made her successful in the movie industry some of the movies she had acted include diary of a crazy nigeria woman charmed rufa taylor laura looking for bami gone personal assistance and sugar rush she won the award for Best Supporting Actress for the movie Personal Assistant and 2018 Best of Nollywood Award. The Future Award Africa nominated her in the Artic category in 2019 but lost to fellow actor Timini. She is a brown influencer for Get Fit, a fitness brown and middle chase, a real estate property brown. Bimbo is known to be a very funny and humble lady. As a matter of fact, aside from acting, she is so funny. When you check her social media pages like Instagram, you will see a lot of funny videos there. People always question her shape as she has a very unique shape a very flat tummy so a lot of people thought that she went to do a surgery but that is not a surgery guys that is a natural shape she is just blessed and endowed 
by God with that beautiful, amazing flat tummy with a beautiful backside. Bimbo is one of the most beautiful and talented Nollywood superstar of our time. She has posted pictures of so many kids on her page and people thought she is a mother. Right now she is not a mother. She just have a lot of knees and nephew, especially a nephew. She love him so much and you will always see the both of them together in pictures and videos because she really loves her nephew so much. So she consider her nephew her son. So that is why a lot of people thought she is a mother now. No, she is not a mother yet, but hopefully she's going to be a mother in the future. Her relationship life is not known to anyone as she has kept her relationship off social media. Once more, let us wish her a happy birthday, pray for her and wish her all the best and everything she has ever prayed for herself. If you are still watching to this very moment, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe, pray for the birthday celebrants and also turn on your post notifications so that anytime I post a new video like this, you'll be the first to watch and you'll be notified immediately. Thank you all for watching and please do have a wonderful day on night ahead. Bye everyone. Hello. How are you? <laughs> How are you talking to you? You look so beautiful. You look cute. Tell me I'm a little bit. Too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so I wanted to share with you my best moments with my best friend. So daddy, I don't know if you knew this, but there was a particular scenario that happened growing up and that kind of like molded my life to who I am today. So I'll tell you what it is. Um, that day, the school bus had come. We were little, I think like five or so. The school bus had come to get us, you know, to take us to school. And daddy had packed my sister's lunchbox and everything, including mine. He was a single father, don't forget that. So it was doing so amazing, amazingly well. So he had packed my sister's lunchbox and mine and had given my sister her. She was in different school bus because we, we went to different schools, you know, at the time. So I was, you know, like trying to check my bag and everything and I realized that I lost my pencil. So I just shouted like, daddy, daddy, my pencil. Like I forgot my pencil. And he just told the bus like, just wait, the driver like, just wait, I'm coming, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be there soon. The way he ran to get the pencil, like with so much determination and so much, I'm sure you people are looking at it like, oh, it's just a pencil. He just, but it, I, I, what I, at the, at, as little as I was, I saw the determination and the, it was beyond just love. It was more like, you know what, like whatever it takes. Cause he just ran to get the pencil and then came downstairs in no time set my sister off and then gave me to my pencil and just waved to the bus and till this day that scenario just plays in my head because it was just him going to get a pencil but today whenever that scenario plays in my head i just set my mind towards determination like because of him i can't afford to give up I, he could have said you know what they'll give you another one in school or i can't go back upstairs no he went to get it and this very day the woman that i am the strong independent determined woman that i am is because of him and partly because of that scenario so thank you tata i love you, you. <laughs> so tell me your favorite memory of me favorite moment yes <laughs> the day you came back from school with your results uh-huh and everything in it was zero what you came with zero F into Daddy, I'm recording. Jesus oh, Christ. Hey, dress me, 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 Speak the boy again. Abru Nangwa gave him a cigarette. Glasses. Boom, 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 boom.